welcome i want to welcome you to this online training customize throw pillow you're going to be learning how to customize your throw pillow how to customize maybe for birthday throw pillow for birthday for wedding name it anyone that you want to create how to customize a t-shirt and how to customize mug so that's what we are going to be learning and we are going to be learning how to create emoji on your pillows so we are going to be creating something like this something like this it does not take time. within five minutes you can create something like this so my name is Damilola so and I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about this it is very simple very very simple so I'm going to show you the materials that you will be needing for this you can get it around you can get all the materials from the artistic shop artistic shop i mean those people that uh, where they sell all this paint uh, where they sell markers you can get it from there and when you get to where they i mean printing print where they print where they print all these um, banners and everything you can ask them they will direct you where you can get the materials they are not something you can get them around you it's not something that is difficult to get so the first thing i'm going to be showing you is this is called teflon it is called teflon it is heat resistant this is what we are going to be placing on our picture yes on our picture so it is called teflon yes teflon this is what it is called teflon teflon i'm going to write uh, the spelling uh, on the video here you can just check it here so it's called teflon so it's heat resistant what are we use, going to use it for we are going to be placing it on 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 the picture so that when we place our high on it, it will not affect the picture that, so that's what this is for i got this for 500 naira and you can use reuse it over and over and over again it's not something you use one time no you can be using it all the time yes you can use it for 20 times before it gets spoiled so this is called glitter 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 is a form of um paper paper like and it has it's gummy it's gum here yes this one is gummy so this is what just in case you want to you know write glittering something on your t-shirt you want to create something on this t-shirt and you, know, you want to use something like this or on the mug so i got this for uh, a yard of it is four thousand naira. so i got a quarter one for one thousand naira. so this one cost me one thousand naira. it cost one thousand naira. and you can use it for many projects if you are not writing something much if you know something maybe it's just maybe i love you you can write a lot of i love you from here so that's that. Then we we'll need this. This is called opaque paper. Opaque paper, you see? Opaque paper. This is called opaque paper. This is where you are going to print uh, the picture, your, your picture, whether the picture of your customer or any. So this is where you are going to, to write opaque paper. When you get there, they know it. In fact, they have it. So either you use opaque paper or you use transfer paper. Transfer paper. So I'm going. To, the difference between transfer paper and this one is this one you can print print picture on it directly, like this. You see, I print a picture on this directly. But if you are using transfer paper, it trans. It's also like this. This is how it is. When if you are using transfer paper, you are going to uh, print the picture on it. On a mi mirror, you are going to mirror the picture on it. If you get to where they print, if you are used to printing, you will understand what I'm saying. When you get to where you will print, when you say mirror, to mirror something, they will understand it. But on this opaque, if you are using this opaque, you don't need to mirror the picture. It is when you are using transfer paper, that is when you will picture. But this is what I'm going to be using for this project. So I'm not going to mirror my picture. So... Another thing what you need is your picture. You need your picture. A clear picture. Very, very clear picture. No, don't use a dull picture. Don't use a picture that you snap with your phone that is dull. Use a very, very sharp picture. What you will do is, if you don't have a printer at home, what you will do is to take it to where they print, a printing shop. 
give them the picture if you want them to edit for you they will edit for you they will edit the kind of any any kind of edit you want they will edit for you so they will edit it for you so when they edit it for you you just give them this opaque paper they will print on this opaque paper they will print on it like this so this is the opaque paper that you are going to be using they are going to be placing on your throw pillow you understand so that is that about this so this is what you need so you need a cutting knife if you don't have this you can make use of scissors so either a cutter or a scissors so you need that then you need tape roll you need tape roll then you need so you need a throw pillow if you are if you know how to sew you can make a throw pillow by yourself and even if you don't know how to sew this is 16 by 16 inches um throw pillow 16 by 16 inches i mean 16 inches then 16 inches so 16 by 16 inches you measure 16 by 16 inches of the fabric you are using you can either use um a velvet fabric let me show you the fabrics you can either use this kind of fabric this is called apoche apoche fabric um it's a bit stretchy here it's not stretchy here you can use this type of fabric this is very common fabric you can use all this um a furniture fabric too something like this you can use satin a satin like this too you can use a satin like this so any fabric of choice that you want so when you buy the fabric so just cost 15 16 by 16 inches 16 by 16 inches you can give it to a tailor around you or this uh, abuki they can make the, the this thing for you tell them to put sip at the back like this something like this so this is your tropilo then then what you just do is you can either make a cover for it like this see the, the cover and you make another pillow inside see the way this one is see the way this one is so this is a pillow eh? this is actually a pillow you can use any fabric for this this is a pillow then you just put it inside uh, the pillow cover okay so it's on this pillow cover that you are going to be printing on you're going to be printing on this print, uh, pillow cover so then you just put your pillow after you finish printing it so that's what you need for this then of course we need iron 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 that you know is always very hot because we need something very very hot so that's the these are the materials and also you need t-shirts you need t-shirts any t-shirts of of choice you can use white t-shirts you can use brown t-shirt any t-shirt you can use maybe maybe the one you have at home yeah i have this one at home. i'm going to be using this one for this project so t-shirt of your choice so that's what we need for emoji you need yellow you know our emoji is always yellow you need yellow you need red color and you need white color for emoji to create emoji so that's that about this introductory class so we're going to go straight to the tutorial proper so we're going to be making this one now we're going to make it something like this something like this very 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 simple to make so see you